morning and thank you for joining us here for KION News at 5. We lead off with a two-car crash on Highway 1 near Davenport that turned deadly. A woman involved in the crash this morning was reportedly last seen walking toward the cliffs. Her body was recovered by a Coast Guard helicopter. KION's Lisa Principe is near Greyhound Rock where it all happened. Yeah, there are still a lot of questions here. The CHP, CAL FIRE and the Sheriff's Office were all out here this morning trying to piece together just what happened when a call for a two vehicle crash ended with a body in the water. A routine call for a crash off Highway 1 ended with a twist. It sounds like one of the parties um, had jumped off the cliff into the water. Battalion Chief Eric Byther says he responded to the crash Monday morning. I requested Harbor Patrol, uh, CHP, uh, Coast Guard, uh, and a couple other agencies that were assisting um, in an auto aid. As we were responding, um, we're getting updated information from not only the caller, but also the command center. Once we got resources at scene, that's when we had determined the patient or one of the parties either fell off or went off the cliff into the water. Rescue swimmers went into the ocean near Greyhound Rock, and about 15 minutes later, the body was airlifted onto dry land. Cal Fire says the woman was pronounced dead by medics on the scene. Right now, it is unclear whether the woman fell off the cliff or jumped. The sheriff's office is still investigating. Cal Fire believes she was alone in her car when the crash happened. But they have this message for those who find themselves near the cliffs of Highway 1. In the past couple of months, we've had quite a few drownings. So I guess the biggest thing is, is water awareness. And we want to make sure that that part of the coastline, that people are aware of um, their capabilities and also what the ocean specifically, that type of water will do being a, a, as dynamic as it is. And the CHP is still investigating this crash that happened just before all this went down. Identification and motivation for the woman who went over will be released by the sheriff's office. In Santa Cruz County, Lisa Prince KIUN News Channel 546. Okay, thanks, Lisa. The CHP says the body is of a 40-year-old woman, but the sheriff's office has not yet released her identity. This is a developing story, and you continue to follow up with it on our on the latest details. You can find those on our website, KION546.com.